I'm Nikki Six, you see this from the underground, and tonight we are with one of the only hip hop punk rockers I've ever met or seen before, Mr. Juicy Carcass. Is it Mr. Juicy Carcass or just Juicy Carcass? <laughs> Mr. Carcass or Mr. Juicy? Mr. is way too formal. <laughs> you have a pretty wide variety of uh, influenced sounds in your music from Wu Tang to Beastie Boys to Dead Kennedys. Is that something you plan on doing when you started doing the hip hop punk rock thing? Mm. Yes and no. I didn't really, I, I didn't really know what I was doing. I still don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, I just there's just stuff that I like that has influenced me, and then it, it kind of comes out accidentally. Nice. You know what I mean? I mean not fully accidentally. You sit there and put a Dead Kennedys reference into a song, like it's uh, you know it's not a mistake. Right. You know what I mean? It's not it's not accidental, but uh, you know I'm just kind of making it up as I go along, and and, uh, and you know everybody kind of. Uh, to some extent, they mimic the, the artists that they look up to right. a lot, and, uh, and I'm guilty of doing that also. Everybody wants to be original, but you can't help but just kind of rehash True. what your heroes did. So as far as your <laughs> influences are concerned, who's your biggest punk rock influence? Who's your biggest hip-hop influence? Uh, it depends on like what aspect of the music you're talking about, because there have been people that influence me like with their ideas but not really with their style you know right. and people that have really impressed me but that um i could never sound like or try to sound like right. uh so i i don't know uh especially with the with the punk influence because I, I feel like i feel like i don't bring a lot of that into my rap like right. a lot of my songs aren't that political and uh like jake filth is one of my favorite punk singers ever uh but i can't bring no. you can't rap like this you That's know kind of cool, yeah, i don't know if it would that sounds like it. <laughs> <laughs> was there ever got shot with throw it was from nwa um doc okay. he can rap like that <laughs> does he <laughs> i think like i'm already kind of gravelly and rough enough uh, for that uh, I, the guy that really changed things for me is uh, Sage Francis, because uh, up until I heard him, I didn't really know that you could be kind of like a white weirdo underground punkish kind of guy and make rap. You know, I'd never heard anything like that. Uh, I'd only heard like I, mean, I heard white rappers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Sage Francis was a different kind of breed. And he was doing, uh, he was talking about a lot of political stuff, and his, his lyrics and his wordplay was really unique. And uh, like he was on Epitaph Records, and and was like kind of loosely affiliated with this New England straight edge hardcore scene. You know what I mean? And would drop a punk reference into his songs here and there. You know what I mean? He wasn't like a punk dude, but it was like the first time I heard rap like that, where I was like, oh, yeah. you don't have to like pretend like you're something that you're not. You know what I mean? Which yeah. is kind of what a lot of white rappers have been doing, I think, up until that point. Yeah. Still like wearing big chains and grabbing your dick yeah. and trying to like, you know, front like, like, like that's the culture that you're from. Right. And uh, I don't know, like, I, I would feel weird if I did that. <laughs> I mean, I probably do do that a little bit to an extent, but I, you know. Is there a lot of other punk rappers out there? I mean, I've never yeah. heard of Yeah, yeah, there are. And I didn't know about it. I, I naively thought that I was like uh, starting a new thing. <laughs> I'm gonna be the first. I'm gonna do some shit nobody's ever. And then it turned out there was people that had been doing it. Uh, the first guy that I heard of was MC Homeless. Oh, wow. he, he had an ad in a profane existence, and I was just looking through it, and I was like, "What the hell is this?" And he had some records out and everything, and I was like, "Wow!" And uh, so I checked him out, and I started finding out. The more and more you do it, and the more you tour. You, people are like, oh, have you heard of so-and-so? He's right. this guy from, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it still happens. I was in New Jersey, and now I was in Baltimore, and someone's like, you should come to Jersey. There's this guy, Raymond Strife, who's like punk, and he does rap. Uh, there was this kid named Jamie Garvey, rest in peace, from uh, Gainesville, Florida. He rapped in this group called Scum of the Earth. Oh, nice. And his MC name was Scapegoat. He was my favorite. He is the best punk rapper out there. If anybody's watching this, you should look them up. They have some albums out. 
Uh, he died about a year ago. His voice sounds kind of like Mike Moyer from Suicidal oh, Tendencies, yeah. but he's rapping, but uh, he's, got, he's got a really good flow, it doesn't sound forced, and uh, he's, he's good. He was my favorite. Right. A lot of the punk rappers I've heard, like I honestly, I like, don't think they're that great. <laughs> they're not terrible either, you know what I mean? Yeah, but, like, yeah. they don't have enough hooks. It's just like, here's a minute and a half of me just rapping, and I'm like, it's not catchy. Well, what got you into the style of, of I mean, because you obviously, Look, the crossfire and, and you know the tattoos and everything. Uh, but, uh, it, we, but your whole music persona is just strictly like you know Wu Tang style hip hop. It's really good. And it's really. Uh, how are you um, perceiving the punk community? It's mixed. <laughs> <laughs> That's putting it mildly. Well, it's hard to know what the real numbers are because. Um, if people don't like it, they don't really say it to your face very often. Right. So I don't have a very good... Other people, you would have a better... You could ask people, right, and, right. and find out better than I could. Because nobody... People very rarely will come up to me and... One guy in Oakland did, and I appreciated him for it. I still don't like him. <laughs> we... But, you know, but I was like, at least he, like, talked some shit to right. me in person. And then we had this big, long conversation, and it was great. Usually, it's just, like, anonymous hate mail on Tumblr. Anonymous uh -huh. like, YouTube comments. You know, like... But, yeah, people... It's cool for punks to like rap, but it's not cool for punks to rap. You know? And if, if they want a, an easy, low blow, they can just say that you're a juggalo, and, uh, <laughs> and that's supposed to hurt your feelings, because... You know, you compare me to a thing that sucks, you know, so I'll cry about it. Uh, you know, I don't know. You just have to not try, I try not to listen right. to it. But it's mixed, the reviews are mixed. What happens is a lot of people are skeptical at first. I get right. this a lot, I'll go to shows and most people don't know who I am, and I'll be like, mm, on the fence. Usually by the end of it, I've, I can tell that I've made a lot of believers. You know? right. The crowd will be kind of cold at first, and then by the end they're like, eh! Our crowd, our it was great, yeah. <laughs> well, I see I've toured with Leftover Crack a bunch of times, and so they bring out there's a built in crowd of a shitload right. of people that are not there for me. <laughs> and then I come in there and like interrupt their punk rock show, and like half of them are not even really punks either, you know what right. I mean? Because they're that kind of band that just attracts like hot topic y whatever right. the fuck. And, uh, and then I go up there and they're like, what the fuck is this? You know? But most of the time they end up liking it. But, you know, I've had people yell, you know, you're an MC Chris wannabe! Which is, I don't get, because I don't rap about Star Wars yeah. at all. Uh, and I don't have a high-pitched helium voice like MC Chris does. I thought MC Chris was a girl when I first heard <laughs> Which is not a diss, I'm just saying, I don't sound like MC Chris. Um, so how's it working so far? It's been also mixed, but, but it's, been, it's been more good than bad. It started off real good, to the point where I was like, something's gotta go bad sooner or later. Like, you can't, every show can't just be awesome. Uh, and so yeah, then there were some shows that were lame here and there, but uh, like, nothing bad happened, right? Like, nobody's fucked with my car, I haven't been arrested, nobody's stolen anything from me, I haven't gotten in any fights, I've, Barely got pulled over. I just now got a ticket for the first time. Oh, uh, parking ticket? Yeah, 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 but big deal. I'm not gonna pay it. Yeah. yeah. Out, of, out of all the things that can go wrong on tour, like most of those things haven't gone wrong, uh, yeah. and it's, it's been pretty good. That's good. Where, yeah. uh, where have you all gone from from Portland to where? I went all over. So you're facing me. I'm gonna draw a map. Yeah. I'm looking at it backwards. I'm gonna like the weatherman. I started up here in Portland, and then I came down the West Coast. And then I went through like Reno and like some of the Southwest, not the deep Southwest, but like, you know, Nevada and cut over to Denver. And then I went up through the Midwest and went to like Minnesota and then over through Ohio and shit and to Pittsburgh and then to the East Coast. And then I stopped in New York, picked up leftover crack and the rental van and I left my car there. And then we went down the East Coast all the way to Texas. And then they all flew home and I had to drive the rental back to New York drop it off and pick my car back up and come down the east coast again into Florida and then through the south and Texas and Oklahoma and then I hung out there for a while because that's where my friends and family live. That's where I'm from. 
And then, and now I'm going west on I-40 to go back up the California coast and get home. That's the long answer. I really wanted that's to do that. Long. That's a lot. Have you been touring the majority by yourself though? Without that song? Yeah, yeah, there's only like 10 days, nine shows in 10 days with them. Uh, and the rest has been by myself. Are you going a little crazy yet or talking to yourself right now? Not any crazier than I already usually am, you know? That's awesome. I have lots of CDs in the car and uh, you know, instrumentals that I can like, I like, I like freestyle in the car or I'll practice new stuff in the car or try to remember old stuff in the yeah, car. That's good. Yeah, I do love that. And, uh, you're a rapper, so you can do all that. Yeah. Not in band stuff that you really couldn't do in a band before uh -huh. time again. Yeah, band practice is just any time I'm by myself <laughs> and then I can rap. I mean, you can do it around other people too, but it's weird to be that guy walking down the street just <laughs> rapping and rapping and people are like, what? You have to be self-conscious for that. Well, as far as, uh, you have your Facebook page, which is just Clark Gustav, Facebook.com, or whatever. Then you have, you have a band camp. Yeah. You have an actual website or any other places where you can... No. Well, I don't have a website, but I have a... Tumblr is where my merch is uh, uh, purchasable. Okay. Uh, there's like PayPal buttons that you can click on right. and stuff. And uh, I'm really bad about sending stuff to people. <laughs> like I always get around to it eventually, but I have made people wait for like two months, three months, four months. Yeah. I feel like maybe four months is like the, the worst. Like, like, yeah, people buy shit. I told the internet a minute ago, like I'm on a three month tour and I see that you're buying things still, but you're gonna have to wait. But that's no different than usual. People will have to wait all the time. I'm just, I don't know why I'm so flaky. Yeah. Or sometimes people order shit that I don't have. I'm not really answering your question anymore. <laughs> I talk a lot. <laughs> Cool, well, it, it, thank you for playing, and we yeah. had a great time watching you and giving wise to what is out there now. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna definitely look for some more punk hip hop. Look for Scum of the Earth. There's also a dude named Heroin Black, who, who also just died uh, of heroin. Uh, yeah, it's a bummer. <laughs> and there's MC Homeless, there's a guy named uh, I think MZ almost kind of retired, though he didn't like tour or anything anymore. There's a dude named uh, Three Stack who lives in Canada and he's like not allowed in the United States or whatever. He had to quit drinking because his liver is really bad. He's like super duper oogly, crusty, train rider y kind of guy. What's his name? Three Stack. Yeah, and all his songs are just about drinking and fighting and being a bum and nice. eating garbage, you know? like. I put a little bit of that in my songs, but that's all that's all he's about. He ain't about shit. I mean, I like him though. I like him. But he's real nitty, gritty, dirty, yeah. doesn't write choruses. He just fucking talks shit for like two minutes all straight. I fucking text you shit and I'm taking crap and I'm pissing on your mom and fucking smash a 40 and fucking go hop on a train and fucking sleep in my own pile of shit. And just like, he's just like, it's just nuts. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's not that good, but, but it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just happy that there's like punk dudes rapping. Uh, that's cool. There's a whole bunch more that I can't think of right now. Some of them are kind of political. Uh, most of them aren't doing anything. They like they'll send me stuff and they have some recordings on the internet. But, like most of them are not touring or putting stuff out or like really trying to like. And I wish they were. So if any of y'all heard that, I'm like. Calling you out. Word. Get your ass fucking Toyota Corolla and go on tour. Because <laughs> the world needs to know. That's right. <laughs> Mr. Carcass, hey. thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs> um, it's about punk stuff, I guess. It's called Punks is Rap. Yeah! Yeah, I'm making rap, but I'm keeping punk first. I'm still more crushed than a pizza dumpster. Steve Ignorant can never be as crass as me. Police and thieves neither want to clash with me. I'm like Ian McKay when it comes to your lyrics, because that shit's all filler, and I don't want to hear it. I'm a small man with a big mouthful of obscenities, because I'm ill in the head, and I'm dead like Kennedy's. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. I need no money like I was a Wayans, but I'm broke and fucked. I'm just some cracker, but I got this little song called Punks and Rappers. You think we're all a bunch 
just slackers Put that shit Punks and scrappers You think we're all a bunch of slackers Put that shit Punks and scrappers I'm young and haggard like Richie Dagger I'm the crusty rapper with the pedal oh, oh, oh. I spit sick shit Reppin' 666 On that Misfits kid Like whoa, whoa, whoa Oh now I turned into a Martian I can't even recall my name It's Juicy Cranks I don't think the swag and act punk I ain't a punk ass rapper I'm a rapping ass Punk. I'm in the house like furniture, running wild in the streets like the circle jerks. I'm about to light it up like a bird in church. It costs more fuss than a person shirt. Nerd alert, I'm the dungeon master, cause I'm running this game called Punks is Rappers. You think we're all a bunch of slackers? Fuck that shit. Punks is Rappers! Dude, fuck the food, I drop bombs! You can log on to look at this fucking Google.com and check out my fan base. Every kid's got a tat on his goddamn face But ain't none of them spit like carcass My beats hit you so hard you almost fall like August When I drop the bomb you're gonna feel the blast And get your shit split like filth and blast If my talk is poison, open up and say ah Death, destruction, and don't forget the chaos You couldn't hang if he was dangling from the rafters That's right, baby, it's punks and scrappers You think we're all a bunch of slackers? Fuck that shit, Uh, at the table I got a bunch of black merch and some of that stuff says punks as rappers.